Hey everyone, I'm Jason. Today's video, I'm going to show you two ways how to get Cody. Okay, so there's two ways of getting Cody. First option, let's go to the magnifying glass. Let's go to search and type in Cody. The minute you type in KO, it pops up right over here. Cody, press OK. And it's right here. The only problem with this one, this is not the latest version. If you guys want the latest version, let's go back to the search bar. Let's clear this. If you already have downloader, you could skip this part, but we need downloader. And it's right here. Press OK. And this is the app we need. Like I said, if you already have it installed, you could just skip this part. So once you have downloader installed, we're going to exit out of all this. Now we're going to head over to the gear, my fire TV. If you don't have developers option, go up to about and right here, fire TV stick 4k. doesn't matter what version you have over here. You're just going to keep tapping it about seven times. Then you're going to get the message at the bottom saying that you are a developer. So once this happens, you can return out and now you will have this option. So let's go into it. And over here, we're going to turn these two on. Depending on your version, you're going to get this. You're going to click on it and then head down to downloader and turn it on. Right now I'm working with an older fire stick. So it turns on all sources. Okay, so once that's done, now we're going to return out of here. Go back to the main page. Let's go back to downloader. Go to the top bar. Okay, so over mm -hmm. here we're going to type in the following. K O D I period T V. So Cody dot TV forward slash. Download. Now let's head over to go. So now if we go all the way down, we're going to go right here, Android. So right now, the timing of this video, we got Cody version 20.5 Nexus. The good thing about doing it this way, you're guaranteed to always have the latest version. So right over here, this is the one we want. We want the 32 bit one. So press OK. Your download should start. Depending on your internet speed, this should be pretty quick. Gonna get this pop up. Head over to install. You'll get this message installing. Okay, we're not gonna open it. We're just gonna hit done. Then delete. Delete again. Now we can hit the home button on the remote. And now if we head over to our apps, go all the way to the bottom and here it is right here. Press OK. Preparing for the first run. And there you guys have it. The only thing I would do once we're in here, go to the gear, go to system. At the bottom here, I like to keep it in events. If you go to add-ons, so under add-ons, right over here, unknown sources. Turn this on, click on yes. 
and that's all to it. So now you can add your files to it. So that's your two ways of doing it. Just go to the Amazon App Store. You can download that version. I like doing it this way simply because I know I'm getting the latest version. But if you guys have any questions, please give me a comment below. Like this video, hit those thumbs up. You want to see more like it, make sure you hit that subscribe button. And like always, thanks for watching and have a great day.